Right, what's the boss here, Sandra? First thing you need to do is work out whether you need new sump or old sump. Old sump ends in 400, this one's 410. I'll show you in the boiler in a minute how you determine which one's which. So what doesn't come with it, I recommend ordering. The exhaust seals, comes in a pack of two. The return pipe, just in case you can't get the old one out. You might need to cut it now. Electrodes and gas tube. It comes with a heat exchanger. Sometimes it's smashed off. You get the spacer, you get two O rings, and then you get those little speed clips. And you get that clip on that. One thing I always do is check the bottom to check if it's cracked. I fitted one before, something was cracked. It's got a pain in the ass. First thing we do, flip the power off. Undo the four screws to whip the case off. Isolate flow and return the spanner rather than the flathead, because the brass is soft. You don't want that breaking. Pop the front down. Undo clip that attaches the heat exchanger to it, open the hose, I put mine straight into a bag, just find that a bit easier, and then I flip the diverter valve motor out, and that will allow the boiler to drain from both circuits, give the paddle a bit of a wiggle, up and down that will release it all, open the air vent at the top, you'll hear the air suck through. Little trick with these siphons, if you put it out like that and pull it at an angle, it will siphon the water out through the condens and then you can unclip it and pull it out. So at this point, I close the drain off, disconnect the hose, and I shut that up so that no water gets on the PCB when you pull the heat exchanger out. I literally WD-40 everything, because nothing holds harder than a Worcester Bosch O-ring. I WD that, because you'll see in a bit, I'll undo the flow pipe and I'll, I'll pivot it round, but you'll see. My 13mm wearer spanner, I do off of just undoing the top. Again, I only undo it like halfway. I spin the clamp around to hold it down and lock it on like that. It makes it easier to pull the fan out. I was able to do it with one hand on the video. Now you'll see why I WD-40 the other bit. Literally just pivot it out the way so you've got plenty of room to work with. And at this point, while that's still clamped down, I pull the electrodes and everything off. I just find it a little bit easier and then I'll disconnect the top.
little bit more WD-40 just to help pull that up. And you can see that's why I ordered the flu seals as well. I mean, you wouldn't want to be reusing those really. A little wear out socket set with a PZ2 bit in it to undo the bracket. I do this because it's easier to pull the heat exchanger forward, so just undo those two screws and pull the bracket off. This is probably the best tip of all. I literally get my ox crowbar, ram it between the return pipe and the case, and push it right in. So it basically strengthens the, the chassis of the boiler. And now, I, I literally did this with one hand and the heat exchanger can pull forward and it doesn't bend the case. I mean, that's why you order new seals. Look at the state of those. That's probably never been apart since it was fitted 12 years ago. Take the earring off. That comes with the heat exchanger as well. So we'll replace that. Give the case a bit of a clean up. Give it plenty of lube. Just in case you've never put electrodes on before, this is how you do it. Put the gasket on like that, and they now come with the little metal bracket. Hook the full side on and the one with half, pop it round. And just basically keeps the gasket in place. Although it's quite easy to put in, I couldn't do it with one hand. That's why I have to kind of put the phone down and then put it in. But it's pretty straightforward, just hook it down and then push it down and you'll feel it completely engaged on the return pipe and then that'll enable you to push that down just give your hand a feel at the back where the bracket is to make sure it's on properly
So again, I put the bracket on and then I tighten the 13 mil screw down a little bit and then I put all the cables on and then I'll then put the fan assembly back in with that clamp down a little bit and then I'll unclamp it and then clamp it fully. I just find that a little bit easier. gas tube. I always try and upgrade these whenever I see the old ones. They tend to wear through so I'll just change them. I always tend to have a quick look at the bearing plate as well. Make sure that's intact, make sure it opens freely.
check the seals with the FDA and then you do 26 nines follow the case 9.8 max 8.8 min happy days